guys. Happy what day it is. I don't know. Um, Monday. Happy Monday. Um, sorry, my email's going off. My chats are going off. Okay, turn that off. All right. So Facebook has changed how this all works. <laughs> so um, if it kaputs out, it's because Facebook. Um, all right, let me get this shared over to our Facebook group so that they know that I'm actually live. I think that I'm live. I'm going to have to jump over and see because they've changed everything. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's completely different than what I'm used to seeing. Okay. If I'm actually live, can y'all say hey? Because I think I'm live, but it doesn't allow me to see anything about what's going on. Like if I'm actually live or not. Or if people can see me. I can't see anything. No. Okay. I think I'm live. I don't know. Apparently I am. Sorry. I can't see any of my normal stuff. Look, I see comments on another screen. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Ali. All right. So let me get this shared over into our group. Okay. I see them now. They're showing up. Okay. Hey, Karina. I have Cook Zero this week. <gasps> Joelle. I miss you so much. Joelle is my Wednesday shopping buddy. Um, oh, no. Okay. And I've missed her so much okay i'm getting this shared over and then we'll be back to normal i am live and kicking sweet oh good that bug finally stopped i love summer but that bug is driving me crazy all right there we go i'm in the hair studio okay so happy monday guys i'm actually live we're going um so we have a bunch to talk about um as always if you have questions hey Mary Beth, um drop a comment i will try to get them answered as soon as possible and facebook is hating like i don't like this new interface at all it's driving me crazy okay let's talk about harris teeter and then we'll talk about free line we'll talk about a couple of changes so there are some craziness um with with if you're in north carolina i don't know if other, if other states are doing okay let me mute this conversation right now because my sisters and my mom are all chatting and it keeps popping up okay so at least in north carolina and if this is in other states let me know they have enacted some new rules um that has caused some changes and i know that food lion has done this i'm pretty sure public size and i think harris teeter has too where grocery store aisles are now one way so um there are arrows either on the floor or signs telling you that this aisle is this way and this aisle is this way. Um, some stores, I know the Food Lion near me, and this may be all Food Lions, um, one store is an entrance and one is an exit, so you can only come in. So literally they're trying to like make it align so that people are not passing each other. And I get it. I think that's a great idea. The less we can pass the pe people, um, the better off we're going to be. But... It's just a little confusing. So make sure that you pay a little bit of attention when you're in the stores if you're shopping this um, week coming up because it's really weird. I've heard like it's kind of hard to remember that you need to look at the floor when you get ready to go into an aisle to make sure. Um, Yolanda says DC Giant has it. So yeah, it's getting a little, but once we get used to it, it'll be fine. And actually, I think it'll be nice because we all know exactly which way we need to go and you're not. Like, I know when I was in the store last week, I kept having to stop because I didn't want to pass someone really close. Um, so I would make sure that I would let them go down the aisle or come out of the aisle before I went up. Yeah, so at least in North Carolina, I'm thinking other stores did it. Um, other states might have done this too, is that they are limiting the number of people that can be in a store. And I think in North Carolina, it's like 20 percent of fire regulations. Now, guys, that we are never going to see a store max out its fire code numbers probably very very rarely like maybe black friday with walmart and target maybe a super doubles event with harris teeter but it's going to be a very rare um time that we see it really maxed out but they are counting people that are coming in and letting um, one person in as one person goes out if they've reached that maximum capacity so whatever we can do to 
drop this now. Uh, Shailene says that Whole Foods is requiring a mask to enter, and so does the Fresh Market. Yeah, don't think I have mine. Hold on, let me see. So it has been, I don't think mine's in my purse. My daughter um, went out today, and she may have taken it. But um, there are a couple. I don't know if they're still available. I'll check. I know I found something. Masks are really hard to find. And obviously, we're wanting to make sure that um, there are some left. Let me drop you a link in here. Um, <clears throat> that uh, the... PPE medical grade needs to stay with the medical professionals. Obviously, we are we don't need that to go to the grocery store. It would be nice if there was enough to go around, but there's not. Um, so I did find a let me see if I can get a link for you. Um, Jane is one of my favorite uh, sites to find housing stuff. Um, and so I can get nothing of sort today. Um, they have like home decor and stuff, but they also have a lot of apparel. And I found these online. I ordered a couple for um, my family. Where? Let me see if this works. Um, these are, if you can't find them local, like someone who can sew, making them. Um, this The prices are comparable to what I've seen locally. Um, they're $8.99 and then shipping's like $2.99. So let me drop the link. Um, they're fabric masks. And the seller's been around on Dane for a while. They have a ton of different apparel items. So they are like a fashion company. Um, and they have a bunch of different styles. So, for them, and then they are shipping out within five days, it said. So, um, I, Shailene says, I found a way to cut a sock and space to slide a coffee filter inside. So cool. Yeah, there's tons of DIY versions. I'm just, I love DIY, but sewing and stuff is not my thing. Totally stink at it. My neighbor, super sweet neighbor made one. I think I posted a picture on Instagram of the one she sent me, but I ordered enough for everybody else in the family. Even though my kids have been all home, um, I want to make sure. I, the coffee filter and mine says, show. okay, super cool. Okay. All right. So anyways, there was a link to some if you want to buy them. There are tons of tutorials online um, to show you how to make them if you would prefer to do that. Um, there's even some where you can make them with a bandana and two hair ties. Um, my kids and I tried that. We could not get it to stay. But like my dad has one that's like, um, I don't know if it's like a motorcycle. Um, one, but he just like pulls up and then it comes down like as a bandana. But I was like, dad, anything you can wear is better than nothing. So go for it. Okay. But we should just be staying home as much as possible. But if we're going out to the grocery store, wear a mask. I definitely wore mine last week. And it took some getting used to, but by like 30 minutes into the store, I was fine. Okay, so here is, let me find what's going on here today right now. So this is going to run through Tuesday. Um, and the new deals will start on Wednesday. So a couple of things. Here's Teeter basically cut out EVIC member-only offers in this flyer. And then... For the weekend, we used to get some that were Saturday and Sunday only, and then a few that were for the rest of the weekend um, or rest, through Tuesday. But they've cut out the Saturday, Sunday, just to make you happy like I was. They are bringing back one single EVIC next week, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm expecting the Saturday, Sunday to stay gone for a while, and here's why. Because they're trying to limit the number of rushes into the store, if that makes sense. Um, sense. Oh, um, Shalene says in Ashboro, there's a company selling them for $3.99 drive through style. Super awesome. And Karina says the biker's bandana. I'm considering the op option. Yeah, I think that would be, um, one if I couldn't find anything else that was shipping quickly. Jane was the only one. I checked Amazon. They're all out to like May on every option I could possibly find. Um, but the ones on Jane were shipping out within five days. I'm super excited. Um, Okay, oh, Summer says, when are they possibly super doubles? So I don't think that we'll see super doubles again until um, way after this is over. So we're expecting from what I was just hearing on the news, I mean, we're looking at the end of May and still continuing <clears throat> the social distancing thing. So I'm thinking possibly July if we can keep our numbers low. Um, North Carolina hasn't been too awful bad, although I just saw something come across that um, the prison in Smithfield uh, has an out, like a bad outbreak, and I'm like this close to Smithfield, um, so that's not good. But um, I, I think it'll be summer, if not the fall. 
um, before I see another one. So um, Lynn says, glad you're keeping to your normal routines because it makes me feel like some things are, are normal. That is exactly why I am because I don't do well with craziness. Um, and so I just have to keep it. So I'm going to keep doing my Monday nights. I will do Wednesdays when I shop because um, I still have to go get the fruits and vegetables and meat for everybody and snacks because they are killing me on snacks. But I'm going to keep those lights up. I've been trying to do the Thursday cooking or craft, but all my kids are at home. Um, and so me brushing my hair doesn't always happen on Thursdays, which means I'm not going to go live. Um, so I'm going to try guys I promise. Okay. So this is what's running through Tuesday at Harris Teeter. Um, new deals will start on Wednesday. So through Tuesday, um, this is the last week for the free planter. If you buy three, um, what are they? American Greetings cards, $1.99 or more, you'll get a free decorative planner. And I totally love um, the uh, one that says, I will survive. Um, then there is, I don't know if this coupon's still around, but there was a coupon for carefree products, um, $2 off two that you could print on my last saving mom. And Sorry, someone sent me an email I need to take care of. And they're on sale 99 cents, which makes them free. Um, this sale actually runs next week to Keebler, uh, Chips Ahoy, or Chips Deluxe. I always get that messed up. Um, Chips Ahoy cookies are buy one, get one free. There is a 75 cent coupon that came out on March the 8th, which makes them 39 cents. Sale is actually going to run next week, too. Um, this is one that I'm pretty sure you're not going to find anymore, but check your store. So it looks like there was a, um, big over purchase by somebody at Ares Teeter, um, for whole chickens, like the kind they do in the rotisserie, uh, on the, the, deli bakery and so when i went on wednesday they had them for 49 cents a pound um for the whole tickets now these are smaller well they're about the same size as one that you get um at harris teeter but they are um already tied up i guess so um, check your store for them. I've heard that it was just an overpurchase, and once they are gone, they are gone. So heads up on that. Uh, Pepsi two liters are ninety nine cents, no limit, um, no coupon required. Progresso breadcrumbs are just a dollar, no coupon, no limit. Um, let's see. Oh, Garnier fruit teas. They are on sale for three bucks. There was a coupon that came out on four five, or there's a printable at Milan Sammy Mom, which makes them each a dollar. Um, so we'll go for the hair stuff. Cool Whip's a buy one, get one free. Asparagus is $1.49 a pound. Craisins are BOGO. Sweet Baby Rays are BOGO. Um, Orville Redenbacher's. Quaker Instant Grits. All buy one, get one free. Okay. Community Coffee K-Cups. They are buy one, get one free. And, um, there is a coupon that came out on three twenty nine dollars for these, um, which makes them as low as $1.74. So some stores seem to have up their prices. Um, recently on the K-Cups, they used to be $7.49, but now they're almost eight bucks. So just check your um, your store because the prices may vary. Um, whole, or sorry, uh, spiral sliced hams are $1.79 a pound. It's a really good price, even though Easter is over. You can have ham any time of the year. And Talenti Gelato is BOGO. So there was a printable coupon. I just dropped something. A printable coupon, but it looks like it's gone now. Um, hopefully you got it. Also check your Catalinas because they have been printing recently um, Catalinas for Talenti. Mm. Uh, Stella, I should have brought the little cup in me. So Stella Cheese makes the wedges. They're our personal favorite. But they also make pre- shaves pre shredded um parmesan cheese uh they're a dollar ninety oh, that's not the right price at Harris Teeter they're BOGO at Harris Teeter and then there's an Ibotta rebate which makes them like a dollar forty nine but they're on sale a dollar ninety nine at Food Lion and after the Ibotta rebate it makes them ninety nine cents. Um Briar's ice cream is buy one get one free. We had a coupon come out. Oh this the coupon expired yesterday. 
Well, they are buy one, get one free this week. Um, so Lynn says, when is the earliest sales ads come available? So I'm getting ready to post food line as soon as I get off of here. Um, the Harris Teeter spreadsheet is already up. It will be, um, it, the ad scan, I just got the clear pictures. Um, I'll have that up in the next 30 minutes. So they will be um, both up on the site within the next hour. As soon as I get off here, I'm throwing them both up. Katie says, when did this virus start? It feels like it's been forever. Okay, so I know that um, we've been at home going on for a week. Um, I can't remember. The stay-at-home order for North Carolina started March 30th. But schools canceled like March 15th. It feels like forever. I know, but it's not. We'll make it through it, guys. It's going to be okay. We're going to we'll all make it through. And life is never going to be the same. It'll be a little different. But some ways that may be good. Because I'm telling you what. I think stores realize how much we love curbside pickup. I just saw um, Lowe's Home Improvement was going to be starting curbside um, pickup. So some things might be like, hey, shoppers really love this. Um, and they might add like things that we didn't realize that we loved. And we might be able to do without some things that we thought we really needed. So I think that, um, you know, it's horrible. But we might see like some silver lining from it. Okay. Um, new Johnson baby coupons came out. They're on sale for $4.99 at Harris Teeter. The coupons are on Moolah Sammy Mom. There's also a $10 off 30 rebate that you can um, get, so it makes them super cheap. Snuggle renews it. It's renews it Snuggle Oils um, for the, the plug-in refills. They are BOGO, and there's a printable coupon on their website, which makes it $2.49. Um, let's see what else. Um, the coupon's gone, but Deliza Desserts are $4.99. It was a coupon you could print out if you still have it. Um, Fisher pecans are buy one get one free. Uh, half cake. So usually this is on Fridays. They have the half cake Fridays, um, but they're five ninety nine um, all week long at Harris Teeter. And the messenger cookies are five ninety nine all week long. Joel says we have we have learned to live simpler lives for sure. And I think that some people um, maybe ate out a lot and they realized how much cheaper it is to cook and that the food actually can taste really really good um so maybe some people are going to stick with eating at home a little bit more um alaskan sockeye salmon cod fillets are both 7.99 a pound uh rancher bone in rib roast is 8.99 and three pounds of 73 percent lean ground beef is 8.99 and whole beef tenderloin is 10.99 so we did not have any coupons come out on Sunday in the paper because it was Easter Sunday, um, even though I think everybody was at home. But um, there were a few printables came out, so I did post the deals with those. Um, a new printable came out. The regular price right now um, for Dan and Okio's yogurt, um, which the coupon makes them free. You can print that at Moolah Saving Month. Shalene says, can you pick use coupons with Walmart pickup orders? Um, no. As far as I know, you cannot use coupons with Walmart pickup orders. You cannot use coupons with Walmart or Food Lion pickup. With Lowe's and Harris Teeter, you can, except um, they're not applied to that, that order. So let's say you put an order at Harris Teeter and you have $20 worth of coupons. When you turn in those coupons, they're going to... Um, uh, they're going to... A credit make you a credit in your account for the next time you come through so the second order that you make pick up you will be um, you'll have that $20 credit to use if that makes sense let me respond to this lady really quick um because she's telling me some insider information that she just found out about Harris Teeter um, okay Sorry, she was answering me about super doubles. Like, that is for sure not happening. Okay. Um, Michelle says, yes, we're definitely eating at home a lot more than we used to, and I surprised myself with the co cooking skills. Yeah, I've, I've been making, like, a whole bunch of stuff I hadn't cooked in a long time just to use stuff in the freezer. Am I the only one that's freezer cooking? I have pulled out shrimp, um, a London broil today. We had London broil. I pulled out 
bunches of ground beef. I'm, I'm like out of ground beef. I have no bacon left in my freezer, guys. I have no bacon. We have used it all. Um, so I'm definitely going to get the ebook next week. My husband just looks at my phone and said, who's that? Mila said, mom, I recognize her. <laughs> um, Joelle says, I have tried new recipes. Awesome. Karina says, I scared my printer printing Okios. <laughs> it's been a long time. So I know. Because I think that once this all started, this whole pandemic mess, we saw a ton of coupons that we normally would see around this time just not come out because the companies are like, nobody's really caring. So let's save our advertising budget for later. Um, but I think that they've realized now like, hello, we are all in the grocery stores at least once a week, even people that never grocery shopped really before. Um, so definitely it's smart for them to put out coupons because if we're going to be buying yogurt, why don't they advertise to us with the coupons and let it be their yogurt, right? Okay, so here is what is coming up on Wednesday at Hair Sears. So, um, these are going to run Wednesday through Tuesday. Okay, so strawberries and raspberries going to be two for five bucks. Um, ribeye steak or unless ribeye roast, seven ninety nine a pound. Smithfield baby back ribs, two ninety nine a pound. Um, wild caught tuna steaks or twenty to thirty count East Coast white shrimp, uh, nine ninety nine a pound. Beth Ann says they've been trying new recipes and came to lots of freezer cooking and using up odd ingredients in my pantry. For example, for example, heart of Palma. Um, Lynn says, what kind of printer do you have and where do you get your refills? So, oh, Palm, Hearts of Palm. I was wondering what Hearts of Palma was. Um, so I have a Brother Wireless Monochromatic Printer. I know that's a tongue twister. Basically what it means, it's a wireless printer from Brother um, that only prints in black and white. And I, I love it because um, it's so quick. Um, and it's uh, laser versus inkjet. Uh, the refills I get on Amazon, they're like 13 bucks, um, 13 or 14 bucks usually. And I only have to buy like once or twice a year. It just depends on how much the kids are printing. Um, now that they're all home and I'm having to print out their assignments, um, Isabella has like an entire package I printed out and we had to make worksheets. Um, and she wants word scrambles and stuff. So I'm using a lot more. I'm probably going to have to refill it sooner rather than later. Okay. Um, Sun Kid Mandarins are going to be $2.99. Uh, and let's see, Pepsi 12 packs are going to be three for 10. Uh, Fritos, Cheetos, and Rolled Gold, two for five. And Harris Teeter Traders Coffee, three for nine, $3.99 with a limit of four. Okay, so let me tell you a secret. I can almost guarantee you that the Pepsi, Rolled Gold, Cheetos, and the HT Traders were intended to be buy two, get three free. I'm just, I want to call Harris Teeter and be like, did you guys? intend originally to do that um okay stephanie is talking about the house array for chicken set. so if you are in like the north carolina south carolina i think it's in georgia um house of rayford is a chicken farm processor they are offering chicken boneless skinless chicken breast 40 pounds for 45 dollars super awesome price let me tell you what happened to me on friday um and this is just my personal experience so there was one literally i mean like it was walking distance from my house guys it was literally like two minutes from my house, okay? So I live on a major road in Clayton. If you're local, it's, I live off 42 by Cornwallis. Um, it was right by my house, like a two minute drive, like if that. I left my house 20 minutes before the sale started. It was supposed to start at two o'clock. Um, I was the, and it was in this big open field and had a big circle drive around the truck, okay? Mm -hmm. I got there 20 minutes before. I was the fifth car to turn into the lot where they're having the sale. I sat there for an hour and never moved. Um, we, not me, like, but people behind me, because I was in a turning lane, but then the turning lane ended, so they were in the regular lane. And the people coming the other way, we backed up the highway for over an hour, because I sat in that spot for an hour and never moved. So after that, about an hour, they, closed the doors of the truck and they took the truck out and I'm like they just left seriously I sat here for an hour for nothing um and then they pulled the truck out and they pulled it to a different parking lot across the street I'm assuming because we were backing traffic up so bad um and then everyone that was in that circle drive started coming down and they blocked they blocked both lanes of the traffic because they were coming across the street and they wouldn't let anybody 
go because they're afraid they were going to confront. Anyways, long story short, I'm glad I finally left after an hour. I finally snuck through. I was like, I promise I'm not cutting in front of you if you let me go past you. And I made a huge loop to come all the way back down to my house. Um, but I ended up getting nothing. And about five minutes after I left, people were posting that they had sold out. So, um, anyways, I was not happy. They, that's only my experience. I know other people have said they've been able to go and get it. Um, I'll post a link to their Facebook page. They're having, um, sales all over. I know they're going to be like in Raleigh and Benson tomorrow. I'm done. I just can't sit another hour in traffic um, just to find out that there's no chicken left. Um, but it's a really great pr price um, if you can get it. So I know several people have said they've gotten it, but I tried and it just wasn't worth it. It's very similar to Zycon Foods, if you guys remember Zycon, um, except for Zycon pre-sold. So you knew when you got there that they had your boxes of chicken. And the House of Rayford is not limiting. So if the person in front of you wants to buy 45 boxes of chicken, they're going to sell that all to them, which I get. But they're, you might be that last person and there's nothing left. And you don't know until the truck leaves um, you in the dust. That there's nothing left after you wait all that time. So, good and bad, really great price. Everyone says the quality is amazing. Um, but I sat for over an hour in traffic. I had Isabella with me because I was like, oh, it's going to be really fast. I'm leaving 20 minutes early. Like the truck might not even be there. No, it was already hundreds of people in line. Okay, that's my experience. I know other people have been like, I have driven in and gotten it, but. Um, here in the Raleigh area, I, I just don't think you're going to find that. So let me know, though, if you do. If you go tomorrow in Raleigh, let me know. Okay, back to Harris Teeter. I think the Pepsi, Roll Gold, and Harris Teeter traders would have been buy two, get three free, but I think they have cut out all the buy two, get three frees for this um, pandemic issue. So just be prepared that we're going to see. And I also noticed that tons of prices – that I would have told you would have seen as like a dollar or 99 cents or a little higher. Um, I don't think necessarily that Harris Teeter is gouging prices. I'm not saying that at whatsoever. Um, but I think that they are not running the sales that they normally would have. And there's a couple reasons for that, possibly. One is they really don't need to advertise a ton to pull people into the stores. And two is they don't want a ton of people coming at one time and trying to buy a whole bunch of stuff. So they're trying to like, Find that sweet spot. Okay. Uh, Karina says, after 30 minutes, no one would have approached me. I would have been, girl, they, I was literally parked on the main road. Um, so it was terrible. Uh, Susan says that Sanford and Siler City chicken plants are selling 20 pounds for 20 bucks or 40 pounds for 40. Oh, I might need to check that out. If I don't have to wait in line for an hour and hope that I get it. Like, honestly, someone told me they got into the line at one of these sales like two hours early. I, I'm not going to sit for two hours. Like, I love a great deal, um, but I don't want to run my car. Um, they are still selling in different locations, Bonnie. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She was, he was asking somebody else. Sorry. Um, but House of Rayford is still running these sales. But um, if you guys have a better experience, drop a comment and let us know because it was not fun for me. Hmm. And I was, like, even going to pick up some for my sister and a friend. But I'm like, sorry, guys. I'm not going to even try to go anywhere else. Okay, um, let's see what else is going to be on sale next week at Harris Teeter. Um, Oscar Meyer Franks are going to be $3.99. Harris Teeter, see this is one. I'm telling you about Harris Teeter Bacon, $3.49. Before this, it would have been $2.99 or maybe $2.50. Um, but $3.49 is the new bacon price. Um, and most of the prices that we're seeing higher prices on um, are going to be the Harris Teeter brand stuff. Not necessarily um, like the na national brands. Okay. Quaker Chewy Bars are going to be two bucks. There's a coupon for a dollar off two, which makes them a dollar fifty. Not a bad price. Um, personal detergent. Super excited about this one, even though I'm not allowed to buy detergent. Um, personal laundry detergent is going to be 40 ounces or 16 count is $4.99. We had a $2 coupon come out Sunday, which makes it $2.99. Um, craft barbecue sauce. Here's another one. See, this normally would have been 99 cents, but it's a dollar 29. 
Wishbone salad dressing, buy one, get one free. Polar seltzer, buy one, get one free. Crystal light country time lemonade, buy one, get one free. Rice Krispies, Frosted Flakes, Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops, and Apple Jacks, all buy one, get one free. Dunkin' Kind cake mixes, $1.49. Um, that's starting Wednesday. Um, Palermo's Pizza will be buy one, get one free. Zesta and Club Crackers, buy one, get one free. Um, I'm just scrolling like really quick to see if I missed anything. Um, Philadelphia cream cheese will be $2. Mayfield ice cream, BOGO, bomb pops will be BOGO. There is a rebate um, if they're included. Let me find it. If it's still going to be around. Bomb pop. I haven't tried these yet. Um, I'm going to have to make this darker because I always forget. Um, for these middles, bomb pop middles. Um, so if they're BOGO, it makes them $2.49, and then the dollar rebate will make them $1.49. Um, this one is chocolate caramel sundae. I don't know. We'll see. Um, they should definitely be um, buy one, get one free with the other ones. What am I doing? Um, Karina says, I'm finally slowed to buy detergent, so getting that deal in Walgreens. Yeah, Walgreens is actually a little bit cheaper. It's $1.99 um, for the personal detergent right now through Saturday, by the way. Um, let's see what else is going on at Harris Tudor. They're going to have a breakfast sale. Um, Sargento cheese is going to be 3 bucks. There is a coupon for the reserved variety, which will make them $1.50. Um, Entenmann's Little Bites and Cakes will be buy one, get one free. Um, Dan and Yogurt is going to do those new coupon on Meal I Saving Mom for them. They're going to be a dollar. That coupon doubles to make them free. Quaker Life Cereal is going to be BOGO. Um, Cheerios, three for ten. Um, let's see what else. Uh, eight o'clock coffee bags, buy one, get one free. And Chobani Yogurt, four for five dollars. Personal coupons are almost always limit one. Um, is this the right one? I don't, this isn't the right inserts. Let me see what I got here. I have like a huge stack of inserts sitting here. Because I have been so slack, y'all, on um, finally managers. Because like, I haven't even been able to use any of them. I feel like, which insert is the parcel in? I think it was a smart source. Hold on. Personal is almost always a limit one per person or something like that. Okay, I can't find it. Sorry, I'll keep looking. Almost always. Um, Bonnie says, we've been buying our meat through Omaha. It's pricey depending on what you buy, but you don't have to go to the store. And for two people, the meat lasts a while. That's a good deal. Um, Shandon says, I need detergent. Found out my son is allergic to Tide. I had stocked up on Tide. Pods on sale and Gain was gone, but they break him out. Yeah, there's a ton of um, deals. Let's see. Like I said, the Purcell is really cheap at Walgreens right now. And they also have a deal on extra detergent. Here it is. Um, this extra detergent is 99 cents. No coupons. Um, it's a deal of the week. And it says, yeah. It's a while supplies last, last though, deal. Okay. Um, Lynn, same. She's like, I'm finding myself having to pay more than usual for things, especially meat, because I'm not going to store to store to get this else. Exactly. So I'm a cherry picker, which means I normally go to Harris Teeter, Food Line, Publix, and Lowe's Foods, at least three of the four every week. And sometimes, um, milk, is it in the retail or not? Thank you. Um, multiple times for the, um, meat and stuff because I'm cherry picking the best deals. Um, Purcell is a limit one coupon per shopping trip. Um, but now I can't. I'm only going to Harris Teeter and then Food Line is my like fallback on the way home if they don't have what everything I need and I'm only shopping the one day a week. Which kills me because I usually go to Harris Teeter at least twice because um, then you have the weekends and the new coupons. Okay, um, they're gonna have a bunch of pet food sales. Um, blue cat treats um, are gonna be buy one get one free. Uh, the blue wet can cat food cans are gonna be a dollar. I'm pretty sure new coupons are coming out for all of the blue products. This blue buffalo this weekend. Um, so watch for that. Um, Boom chicka pop popcorn is gonna be buy one get one free. 
a bunch of frozen dinner deals like bird's eye viola it's gonna be three for ten murray calendar pot pies two for five uh that kind of thing and then uh nan bread stone fire bread is gonna be 2.99 there's a coupon you put on their website making a dollar 99 um let's see rosemary olive oil bread is gonna be 4.99 mango is a dollar and cantaloupe's a dollar fifty Woo, you guys, first time of yawning, it's only 9 or 7. Okay, Kalyn says, it hurts my feelings to pay higher prices, but we got to do what we got to do. I agree. We will get back to it. It won't be that long that we'll be at least able to go into the stores. I'm feeling, this is just gut, feeling that we're going to have to wear masks for a while. Um, I heard people screaming. Um, we'll have to wear masks for a while and limit our social distancing, keeping our spaces. But I feel like we'll be able to at least go to the stores and do our actual couponing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's Harris Teeter starting on Wednesday. All right, let me jump over to Food Lion. So Food Lion was kind of slow this week. I'm not going to lie. Um, they had a couple of really good prices. Give me one second to pull it up. Um... They don't have a fire here. I do. Okay. So a couple of really good prices um, this week. Some of my favorite were the 99 cent shank ham, the 89 cent red seedless grapes, the um, I don't know if it's on the 79 cent asparagus, and then they had 99 cent frozen turkey breast, BOGO donuts, and BOGO Danish. I'm going to tell you right now, I could eat like the entire box of these donuts by myself. They are so good. They come come into a frozen so make sure um that you get one that's thawed out because if you bite into a frozen donut it's really not good okay um a uh, cool whips 99 cents at free line this week this one through tuesday and oh look their granola bars are two for four at free line making them a dollar 52 and let's see something else that i was going to tell you about free line and i don't remember what it is um, oh, they have buy this buy two ready whip cans of whipped cream and get a dollar off strawberries and uh, Green giant frozen vegetables are a dollar the box vegetables um, now you get a lot more okay, let me show you. Okay. Let's see. This is where paying attention to what's on sale um, Fruit loops are on sale BOGO next week Lynn at Harris Tudor. Okay I know, Joelle, those donuts. This is the sale this week. These run through Tuesday if we want. Okay, so look. You can get a 7-ounce box of Green Giant for a dollar. Or which way to go? You can get a 24-ounce bag of food, of food Lion brand for a dollar ninety-nine. This is now. So this is the kind of thing. And unless you have to have the kind that are steamable in the pouch, what you're really paying for is the ability to steam it in the pouch. When you can just throw it in a pan with some water and cook it, the same thing, and you get so much more for the same amount of money. Um, so just all pay attention. Um, I don't know. Uh, Christina says asparagus at Food Lines a dollar forty nine. Oh my gosh, seventy nine cents here. So there were some major variations in the pricing. Um, so like even here, okay. So I live like I told you about. I live near Smithfield, North Carolina, which is where they have. Um, the outbreak in the prison which is horrible and there that way the um cheese is a dollar 67 but here in clayton and in raleigh it's two dollars they do have the gala apples the three pound bag of gala apples for 2.99 that's a really good price that's like 99 cents a pound um one pound bag of carrots is 69 cents they have some good prices on produce this week these are through tuesday okay all right so here's what's coming up on wednesday at Food Lion. Uh, give me a second to find it. I have pictures. Okay. Um, zucchini and squash can be 99 cents a pound. Chicken, drumsticks and thighs, 99 cents a pound. Blueberries, 250. Uh, yellow squash, 99 cents. The cream twirls will be I love those. They're so good. Um, T bone steak, 5.99 a pound. Seven up two liters, 99 cents. Tyson chicken bags are going to be $5.99. Um, let's see what else. Top round of London broil, $4.99 a pound. Um, the cube steak, $5.49 a pound. Food Lion chicken breast tenders, $2.99 a pound. Um, let's see what else. 
Okay, so they brought back the buy this, get that free. Um, so it's by Food Lion Hummus, and you can get um, I said um, some taste of inspiration crisp for free. You buy Nature's Promise syrup, and you get Food Lion waffle mix for free. Um, you buy Food Lion peanut butter, or Nature's Place peanut butter, and you get crackers for free. If you buy Nature's Promise laundry detergent, you'll get dryer sheets for free. Um, salsa is going to be BOGO. Let's see what else. That's it on that page. It's kind of another slow week, y'all. Um, that's it there. Uh, Pepsi 2 liters, $1.25. Um, Pepsi 12-pack for 11 so they're a little bit cheaper at Harris Tudor. Oh, um, Ocean Spray Juice is going to be two for five. So there's a dollar off two coupon um, for the Ocean Spray, which makes them two dollars at Food Line, but they're BOGO at Publix this week um, through tomorrow. Oh, my eyesight is terrible. Let's see. The Waffle Baker's Pancakes, two for four dollars. Uh, Cheerios are going to be BOGO. Oh, yeah, Christina says low food, Lowe's Foods is back to two pager. Yeah, so Lowe's Foods has been going back between, between – they used to be six pages, I think. Um, and now they're going between two and four pages. So next week is a two-pager. I'll pull out some of the highlights for you in a minute. Um, Purex Laundry Detergent, $3 at Food Lion. Let's see what else. Um, asparagus goes up to $1.99. Pineapple's $1.79. And that's mangoes, $0.89. Cents. So – Pretty much it at Free Lion. Um, let me pull this up. Um, Aldi has really um, stopped putting prices on a lot of their flyers online. So um, they're saying, like, check your in store. So the store pricing for Aldi has been changing by location. And let's see, my email like blown up here. Okay. Um, let's see. Starting on Wednesday at Lowe's Foods, uh, raw shrimp, the 11 to 15 count, like the colossal huge shrimp is going to be buy one, get one free. Um, I'm not sure how much they are, but they're sold in two pound bags. Um, their fried chicken, eight piece fried chicken is going to be $7.99. Their cantaloupes are going to be $2.48. Screaming Sicilian pizza going to be five bucks. Coke products are going to be three for 10. Lowe's Foods coffee bags and K-cups, buy one, get one free. Um, Pop Tarts 12 count for $2.50. Kellogg's cereal $2.50. Talenti $3. Um, let's see what else. Nicola Bars $2.50. There's a coupon on Moulin Savvy Mom. Um, and then that's pretty much it. There's a couple of e coupons. It's going to make some random brands. Um, Hanover's frozen vegetables are going to, it says seasoned Southern classics vegetables. I'm assuming they're frozen. Um, there's an e-coupon that's going to make me, um, make me, make you pay a dollar each. Uh, and then Wonder Creamery grass felt fed cork. I'm assuming that's like a yogurt. Um, the e-coupon is going to make them a dollar. Mm. Karina said, the notes on my flyer, I couldn't figure out where to go this week for the price for my produce. I, if you don't tell me how much they are, I'm just not even going to pay attention to you. Um, Francis said, I like all these Instacart, but it still says prices can change you. So name of the coffee um, at Lowe's Foods is the Lowe's Foods brand coffee. That's going to be buying get one free if you were talking to me. Um, oh, Lynn says her cereal stash is going down. Um, so Harris is going to have all a bunch of the Kellogg cereal BOGO. Yeah, Lowe's Foods just hasn't been having that many sales. Now, they do have a bunch of unadvertised. No, I need to be better. So I just ripped my nail off. I need to be better about posting some of their deals because sometimes they do have really good stuff. Like they're going to have the 18 count granola bars on sale for $3.99. So what is it? Five? Is it five bars in a regular um, box of Quaker? I don't even know. So let's do some math. Let's do some math here. Okay. So let me put this down. We're going to do some math together because... I have to use my calculator because I'm not so good at it. Okay, so the normal Quaker bars, the ones that the, they have eight bars, six bars for the dips. So let's do seven bars. We'll average it out, okay? Because um, the, the regular ones have eight and the dips have five. So we're just going to, I'm sorry, six. So we're going to do seven bars, okay? So they're going to be $1.50. 
at Harris Teeter for, what did I say? Seven bars. We're going to average it. So that's 20. I'm going to write this down because I won't remember it. <sighs> Isabella took off of my pen. Okay. So it is 0.214 for the seven bars. Okay. And then they're going to be $3.99. We're going to take off the 50 cents for using the coupon for, and this is 14 to 18. So we'll say 16 because that's right in the middle, right? So that's 0.218. Okay, so that's more expensive. It's more expensive to buy the multi-pack um, at Lowe's Foods than it is the Harris Teeter. What now, of course, that can change if you decided to get the 18 count box. I'm just averaging it out. I had to do the math. Let's see. So Harris Teeter or Food Long this. Aldi needs to get the prog program. We can't be store hopping. We are on a store one store system. If you don't have all my list, you're out. Yes, that's exactly me right now. If I will go to Harris Teeter on Wednesday, do all of my shopping, buy everything that I need to buy that's on my, send my kids a text. And I'm like, if you need it this week, if you want it this week, you need to send me a text. If you want chocolate syrup because we're out, you need to send me a text. Because um, there's just some things I don't pay attention to that we're out of because I don't need it. Only they do. Um, but I've been grabbing my milk and my bread and eggs if my chickens are being lazy um, at one store. So, okay. So that's what's going on now. We have two inserts coming on Sunday. Um, I'll have the, I already have the preview up for you guys. I'll have the actual inserts on Friday. Um, so I will, we'll try to go live on Friday. Yeah, I don't have anything going on. I'll try to go live. I don't have anything going on all week. Um, I'll try to go live and we can go over what's in the inserts. They look to be have some good brands coming um, this week. So there are also some really good deals at CVS um, running right now and Walgreens. So like I said, I've been cutting my shopping trip to one um, store a week and then hitting Food Line if I need to. If this week, if I don't need to go to Food Line, and may stop at CVS instead because they actually um, reissued your extra care bucks if they expired um, between like March 15th and um, April 1st or something like that. They've um, reissued them. So check your email if you had extra care bucks expire. Lynn says, I miss going to Publix. I do too. I used to go to Publix. I would go to Harris Teeter, Publix, and Feed Line all in one swoop. And now I'm just trying to hit Harris Teeter and Publix on my way home if I absolutely have to. So a um, couple of housekeeping things. We have changed, I need to check with her. Um, I, we have changed our email provider. So we sent out one email a night with a list of all the deals and coupons. I am working on making it prettier. I know it's kind of ugly right now because um, I'm still getting used to this new program. But um, their send rate is much better, which means that if I send you an email, you're actually getting it. So if you haven't signed up for our emails, sign up by texting the word coupon to 66866. I'm going to walk you through sending your email and signing up. Um, or you can go to the top of moolasemiamom.com on desktop or mobile now, and you can put in your email address um, and sign up for our emails that way. It will also give you access to download the coupon tool, which is a free Excel file to do your grocery list on. Not going to help you right now when there's not a ton of coupons that you're using, but when we get back to real life, um, I say real life, this is real life, but when we get back to normal, as normal as possible, um, you'll want it to do super doubles and all that stuff. Um, so two answers. I posted the link to a ton of online rebates. Look, this is what I got in the mail today. I'm just ready to go. A $5, which way? $5 um, from Miller Lite. And I have not bought Miller Lite. So that's the cool thing. I'm um, living in North Carolina. And this is actually all the ones I've gotten this month. Um, so let's see. I have five, ten, ten dollars plus six. So 16 bucks. I have, whoops, gotten $16 this month for for buying things I was buying anyways. Online beer redemption. Oh, and I have, an, I have one of those cards too. Look, um, plus, how much is on this one? I don't even know. $5, probably a $5 um, digital card. So $21 bucks, um, in rebate for stuff I was buying anyways. I never buy things just to get a rebate, but um, 
with the online rebates are so easy. So they're state specific. So some states will allow you to buy, not buy beer and some states require you to buy beer. So check the fine print, but the link to all, oh, there's like a piece of skin. Um, all of them are on Meal Saving Mom. So recap, new sales start on Wednesday. Um, I will have the Harris Teeter and the line ad skins up for you guys in just a tiny little bit. Uh, Lynn, I believe Goodwill stores are all closed. Um, and please, and not saying that you would do this, but I have seen pictures in my Facebook feed of people that are literally dropping them off in front of the stores and it looks like a big dump because no one is working at Goodwill to bring things in. Um, so if you're dropping things off in front of the store, you are littering. You're just dropping it off because you know they're closed. Um, so Goodwill's closed. Just what I would do, A, um, there are a lot of people hurting right now. So if it's something that has a lot of life in it that someone might go to use right now, post it on one of the um, your local Facebook groups or um, I don't like Craigslist, but one of the Facebook groups or Marketplace is free. You know, there's a lot of people that can use some of that stuff that you don't need anymore, even if it's sheets or blankets or whatever, um, a lamp or an old TV, whatever that it is, um, or just put it in a box in the garage until they open back up. Um, Lynette, so the rebates are super easy. Um, there's a link on my last time mom that where you will go to and then it will ask you for an offer code and that's going to be the AB dash whatever. And then it will walk you through it. Um, that after you type it in. Um, I prefer to do it on my phone because I can take the pictures of the receipt with my phone and then immediately send them in. So that's my preferred method. And then I just write down um, which ones I've done. So I print out the, the list of them and then I just cross them off as I do them. Exactly, Joelle. If it's free and you're offering it on um, Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, which is my preferred method, why Craigslist like I can pretend to be anyone but on Facebook like I can click your profile even if we're not friends and see if you're a real person if you really live near me like I can see like you might have friends that I know even if I'm not friends with them um, or I can you know you can kind of mesh out if the person's real and legit more than like Craigslist where it's completely anonymous and they, you only know what they tell you but you can do porch pickup which means I've done that I literally left things on my driveway and I said, you wanted this on the driveway. Here's my, and tell me when you're coming and I'll give you my dress. And they came, they picked it up and they took off. They had a plenty of life left, which by the way, if anyone knows of somewhere, I know my friend sent me a list of them and I've forgotten, but if anyone knows somewhere in the Raleigh area that will take bicycles that might need a little work, I have like seven different size bicycles that might need new tires or new inner tubes or a new seat. Um, and I don't want to take them to the dump because I know someone can fix them up. I just don't have the ability to do that. So, okay. Recapping two inserts coming on Sunday, new deals start on Wednesday. Lots of good deals running right now. Um, as always take care and be cautious and safe in the grocery stores or drugstores, wherever you're going. Um, yeah. So that's all I've got for you gonna log off in just a second if you have questions I'll stay here for just a minute more um and so sorry I did not go live on YouTube so they're gonna have to get a replay because I forgot um I think I got everyone's questions I think but um yeah I'm gonna be um using up my stockpile it's already my freezers are already getting low because I haven't really been a lot of meat like I bought a little bit of ground beef and a little bit of chicken um the whole chickens, I still can't find boneless goodness chicken breast, but we'll be fine without it. I have a couple. Um, Shundan says our local police department takes bites and fix them for needed. Chris, I need to find out. I know like this is not the time to be trying to find, um, but I'll see if I can find out if ours is here. Okay. I'm long enough, y'all. I Walking Dead wasn't on yesterday, was it? I don't think it was because usually Amazon sends me a notice like, you should watch The Walking Dead. Um, okay, so I'm logging off. I hope you guys have a great week. I um, hope you had a nice Easter, even if it was um, a little strange. But, okay, sorry. Like, as Harris Teeter still accepting paper coupons? As far as I know, I have not heard. So Harris Teeter is not um, is not giving rain checks. They're not accepting returns. Um, but they are 
accepting coupons as far as I know. I've not seen anything different. And I've been checking their page because I've heard a couple of people saying that. I haven't seen anything. Yet. Here's the thing. If they're going to accept dollar bills, um, they should continue to accept coupons. I haven't seen um, anything. I know that they're saying if you choose to bring your own reusable bags, they're asking you to bag your own purchases. I have just chosen, you know, I am a huge reusable tote person. I love my totes. Um, so here's what I've decided to do. I leave them in my car. And then when I get, I use the paper or plastic bags, whatever they prefer to give me. Um, I put the paper or plastic bags in the reusable totes and take them. Out. And that seems counterproductive, but it's so much easier to carry a tote than it is 10 different plastic bags. Um, and I don't feel right. This is just me. I don't feel right bringing a reusable bag into the grocery store and standing right next to the cashier where I should be on the other side of the plexiglass. So I'm just taking the hit and using paper um, bags. If they're not super busy, I'm asking for paper because I can recycle them um, and I'll use them around the house. But the plastic bags is like, if they're super busy, it's faster for them to use. Um, okay, I don't see anything about not accepting coupons. This is updated on 4.8. Um, they do have the modified store hours, the reef, they're not accepting refunds, except on um, fresh produce and meat. Um, if there's some reason it does not meet quality standards, they'll replace it or issue a refund. Um, but other than that, it doesn't say anything except for the rain checks. So, okay, Karina, you should be so proud of me. 928 and two yawns. Two. Karina always makes fun of me. Okay. Okay. Um, Susan says she used coupons, and Michelle says that she used paper coupons today. Yeah, as far as I know, there is no restrictions on taking coupons, um, and it's just an, um, I don't I don't see why they would. I get like they're so accepting dollars and everything else, they would not accept coupons. As far as I know, I have I've heard whispers about people saying that, but I haven't heard it. I don't think that enough people. This is just me speaking. I don't feel like enough people use coupons to make it a huge deal for them, if that makes sense. Um, so, okay, all right, that's all I've got for you guys. I'm gonna log off here, I'm gonna throw this up on YouTube. I'm gonna get the Harris Teeter ad scan out to you guys ASAP. I will get the Food Line ad scan and spreadsheet up to you guys ASAP. Hope you have a great week. I, I know record with three yawns. Ah, oh, see, I only counted two. You caught one I missed. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. Okay. And two inserts coming Sunday. I have the pre I have the preview up for you, but I have the actual inserts on Friday. Stay safe. Um, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Where do I need to go? Okay. Facebook changed everything on me.